What's up guys, I'm Perry, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your WIM Pro. So as you can see, it comes with the WIM receiver itself, along with a USB-C to USB-A cable and a power block to power the receiver. It also comes with an optical cable and an RCA cable to connect the receiver to your speakers, sound bar, amplifier, etc. So if we take a look at the WIM Pro, you'll see we have all of these different inputs, outputs, and controls here. So starting with this side here, we have all of the different inputs and outputs to connect the receiver to your sound source, to your speakers, etc. So starting on top here, we have the RCA line input, and we can use this to connect sound sources like a DVD player, a record player, an RCA to aux cable, or anything with an RCA output. And then we have the RCA output to connect the receiver to your speakers, amplifiers, or anything that can produce the sound that's coming out of the receiver. Underneath that, we have a similar deal with the SPDIF or optical input and output. So we can use the SPDIF in to connect connect anything like a gaming console, TV, etc. And then we have the SPDIF output to connect the receiver to your speakers, amplifiers, or anything that's going to produce the sound to come out of the receiver. And next to that we have the Ethernet port, so we can take an Ethernet cable and plug it in from our router or modem for a strong internet connection. We also have the USB-C power port to power the receiver. Next to the power input we have a microphone to pick up our voice and send it out to an Alexa, Apple HomePod, etc. And above the coax output we have a 12 volt trigger output. This can be used with an amplifier that has a 12 volt trigger input which will awaken the amplifier as soon as there's sound playing through the receiver. To set this up you're actually going to need a 2.5 millimeter aux cable. Connect one end into the trigger out on the receiver, then plug the other end into the trigger input on the amplifier. On the other side of the receiver, we have the controls. So we have the pause or play button to pause or play our music. We have the plus and minus buttons to control the volume of our receiver. And then we have the preset button, which will activate the presets that we set up on the WIM app. We're actually gonna be going over this feature later on, but basically you can load in different content through these presets and activate them with the push of a button. So to power the receiver, you're gonna take your USB-C to USB-A cable and the power block. You're gonna plug the USB-C end into the power socket here, plug the other end into the power block, and then plug the power block into an outlet. From here, we can set up our WIM Pro to our speakers, amplifiers, or whatever we're using to listen to music or watch TV. For today, I'm using a sound bar with the optical input, so I'm gonna take my optical cable. If you're using an optical cable, you might need to take off the plastic tips on each end. From here, I'm gonna take one end and plug it into the optical or spit of output on the WIM Pro. Then I'm gonna plug the other end into the optical input on my sound bar. Also make sure whatever sound system that you're using is set to optical mode if you're using the optical output on the receiver. So now that I've got the WIM Pro all set up to my sound bar, the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is finish the setup for the WIM Pro by using the WIM Home app. I've already got the app downloaded onto my phone here, so you might wanna take this time to search for this app and download it onto your phone. Once you open it, it's automatically gonna search for the device that you're looking to set up. So right away, it found the WIM Pro that we're setting up right here. And then it's gonna prompt us to continue the setup. So we're gonna go ahead and click on setup to continue. Now from here, it's gonna ask for your location to continue the setup and it's completely confidential. So you can go ahead and click allow. From here, it may take you to your location settings, so you'll want to access the location by going to the location part here. From here, it will take you to the location settings for the WIM Home app, so I can go into the location setting here. I have different options to allow location access, so I can choose either ask next time or when I share, or I can click on while using the app. For today, I'm going to allow location access while I'm using the app. So I can go back now. And from here, I'll be able to continue the setup. Now from here, it's gonna ask you which output you wanna use with your WIM Pro. So because we set up our sound bar through the optical output on our receiver, we're gonna go ahead and click the optical out. 
Next, it's gonna ask you for the Wi-Fi information. So you just need to find your Wi-Fi network right here and then enter the password for your Wi-Fi network. After that, you'll hear that sound letting you know that it's connected to your Wi-Fi network. So after that's all set, we can move on. Now it's asking if we wanna set up a WIM remote to the receiver for additional control. We actually have one right here, but we're gonna save this step for later on. So if you don't wanna set it up right away, we can just X out of this option. Press no for now, but don't worry because we're gonna be able to do this later. And now it's downloading the device update for the app and the receiver to be in sync. And this might take a few minutes, but while you're waiting, just be sure not to disconnect the power from the receiver. Now it's asking if we wanna name our device, which we actually recommend doing. This way we know which device we're controlling through our app, which is helpful, especially if we have multiple Win products set up through the app. So you can either customize your own name here, or there's a bunch of different recommendations that we can use. So we've got bathroom, bedroom, den, etc. For today, we're just gonna set it to media room here. After you picked a name, you can press next up here. Next, it's gonna ask if you wanna calibrate your device. We recommend that you do this so that there's no audio latency at all. So we'll just press calibration here. From here, it's gonna prompt you to connect the receiver to your audio device, which we already did. It's also gonna tell you that it's gonna play a tuning sound, so you'll wanna be sure to set the volume on your speaker. And it's also gonna ask you to set your receiver to wherever you plan to have it set up in your room. After all of that is sorted out, we're gonna click on let's start. And now it's gonna be calibrating. Once it's all done, it will say measurement is finished, then we can press done. And from here, we can set up the audio playback for the best sound possible between our receiver and our speaker. So again, because we're using the optical output, it's gonna tell us to set the optical output. And from here, we have different options on sample rate and bit depth for the best sound quality possible. So for that, I'm gonna make sure that it's set to the 48 kilohertz sample rate, and I'm gonna set the bit depth to 24 bits. We can then go ahead and play test the audio to make sure everything sounds all right. Uh, so right now it's playing some music, sounds good. So we can go ahead and press yes. And then it will tell us that the SPDIF output resolution change is successful. So now we're almost done. All we need to do next is enable the Chromecast audio or the work with Alexa if we have any of those devices that we plan to use with the WIM Pro. So if you do plan on using your Chromecast audio, you're gonna enable it by clicking the enable button right here. It's gonna ask you to accept the terms and agreements so you can press accept. And you can do the same thing if you're planning on using your Alexa, so you can press enable. Then it will ask you to sign into your Amazon account to sync up your Alexa to your Win Pro. So after all that, we can press done. And now it will bring us to the main hub to control the app. So if we wanna go ahead and play some music, we can go to this browse tab here. Then we can scroll down and see all the different options we have to play music. So we've got Amazon Music, we've got BBC Radio, Napster. Me personally, I use Spotify, so I can go to the Spotify button here. From here, it's gonna ask you to open Spotify. So if you have the Spotify app on your phone, you can access it by going to the open Spotify button here. It'll say Wim Home wants to open Spotify, so we're just gonna say open. And then from here, we can go and search for any song that we wanna to listen to, press that song. And at first, it might just play the audio from your phone. So to fix that, we're gonna to go to the devices button here at the bottom. And then you'll see the Wim Pro show up as Media Room since we named it that earlier. So we're just gonna click on that. Then we can press play. Nice, then you'll start to hear the music and we can even go back to the WIM app, go to the now playing tab. And from here, we're able to control the music while it's playing in real time. So we can pause and play the music. Yep. We can control the volume from here too, so we can lower it and then bring it back up. We can even skip between tracks, so we can go forward to the next song, or if we wanna go back to the previous song. 
So this is just to show that we have full control of anything playing from our receiver through the app. And because you're connected through Wi-Fi, you can go anywhere in your house and not have to worry about losing connection and control any type of music that you want to play at any time. You can also access the settings of your app to make any changes. So we can press on this gear icon here. From there, you can change the audio inputs and outputs in case you changed which ones you're using on the receiver itself. And you can also use the settings tab to switch other settings. So you can rename the device if you wanted to. You can get more info on the speaker. You can set an alarm clock, go through the network status, and much more. Now, along with using the WIM app, you can also use the WIM remote to control your WIM Pro. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get a pair of AAA batteries and plug them into the remote, which we've already done here. After that, you're gonna go into the device tab of your WIM app and go to the settings icon here. You'll see there's a remote tab there, so we're gonna go ahead and click that. So you'll get this prompt here to pair your remote, so we can go ahead and click on that. And now you'll see that the WIM Pro is in the process of pairing the remote, and then this will come up once it's all done. Now, if that prompt to pair your remote to your WIM Pro doesn't show up like it did with us, you can hold down the source and the mute button together for about two seconds, and then this will set the remote to the pairing mode. After that, you should get that prompt and finish the setup from there. So let me quickly explain what each button does here on the remote. So we got the standby button here to set the receiver into standby mode. We've got the voice control button here. So if you have your Alexa or Apple HomePod connected to the Wim Pro, you can press this button and then it will wait for your voice command. We've got the volume control with the plus and minus button here to control the volume coming out of the receiver. We got the skip forward or go back buttons here to switch between tracks. And in the middle, we have the pause and play button. We've got the source button here to switch the source that's playing through the WIM Pro. Next to that, we have the mute button to cut the volume from our receiver. And underneath here, we have the preset buttons to activate the presets that we set through our app. So now let me show you how to set up a preset. So say I want this song that I'm playing right now to be one of my presets. I can go to the now playing tab and then you'll see these three dots here. So I'm gonna click on that. And then you'll see we have the preset option right here. So I can click on that. And from there, I can pick any of these slots that I want the song to be. So if I want it to be preset one, I can click on one here. So now I have the song set as preset one. So let's say if I'm playing a completely different song at the moment, and right away I want to switch to that preset, I can go to my remote and press preset one. And then it's going to play that song that I set as preset one. You can also queue up a playlist as one of your presets. And for that, you're going to go through Spotify, search for your playlist, start your playlist by playing the first song there. Then you're going to go to the now playing section of your WIM app and press the three dots. Set it up to any of the empty preset slots here. And then you'll know it's working when the preset is listed as the name of your playlist. And you can also use the other music services that we have available to do this. So for example, if you wanted to use a song from Amazon Music as preset two, you're gonna follow the same exact steps. Go to this three dot button here, go to the preset button and set it to whatever preset you want. Now there is also a way to make a multi-room setup if we have more than one WIM product. So for example, I have my WIM Pro here, which is set up in my media room. And then I have my WIM Mini here that I want to set up in my bedroom. Now to set up the WIM Mini along with my WIM Pro, we're actually gonna follow the same exact steps that we use to set up the WIM Mini through the app. And if you need a reminder on how to do that, check out the video we made on how to set up the WIM Pro through the app. You're just gonna follow the same exact steps except with the WIM Mini. So by default, these two different products are gonna play separately, but there is a way to link them together so that the music is playing out of both of these products at the same time. So to do that, all we need to do is click on this linking button here. From there, you're gonna see the options of which rooms you wanna link together. So I wanna link the media room, and I also wanna link the bedroom, so I'm gonna click on that. Then I'm gonna press done when I'm ready. 
Cool, and then now you'll see that both devices are linked together. See, it says media room and bedroom right there. And if you also look, you'll see that we have the volume for the group in general. So using this, we'll control the volume coming out of both speakers. We also have independent control of each product, so we can do the media room separately, and we can also control the volume for the bedroom separately. So now we can go to the Browse tab and go to an app to play music from. So I'm gonna go to Spotify, open Spotify, then we got the instrumental tracks that we were rocking to earlier. So I can click a song. And then remember, we can go down to this devices tab here to make sure that the music is playing out of both of these speakers together. Now, the one thing I wanna point out is that you wanna look for whichever room is listed on the top here. So right where it says media room, that's the top room that's gonna be displayed whenever you're picking which device that you wanna play from, from apps like Spotify, Apple Music, etc. You're still gonna be able to hear both products together. It's just that the media room is listed as the top priority with the bedroom attached so again that's just what you want to select when you're looking for the devices to play from so for example let's go ahead and play a song from Spotify before we play we're gonna go to the devices tab under here look for media room and click on that so then we can go back into the whim app and press play so now music is coming out of both rooms and we can go back and control the independent volume for each room so I can lower it in my media room. Cool. Now you hear it mostly coming out of the bedroom. So we can lower that a little bit. Cool. So that's a lot lower now. We can bring the volume back in the media room. Nice, so we have a blend between two. Raise the media room a little bit. And then we can control the group volume also, so we can raise the volume on both at the same time. So this is really cool because you can take a product like the Wim Pro and set it up with a 70 volt amp or a multi-room home stereo amplifier, which already has multiple speakers spread out through different rooms with different zones. And this would be a huge improvement on those setups because again, we're using the internet and connecting to the Wim Pro to go anywhere in our house or building, as opposed to being limited on space by connecting our smartphone or tablet to those amplifiers and Bluetooth. Now on top of connecting multiple sources to the Wim Pro at the same time, we can even connect our smartphone or tablet through Bluetooth. So to do that, we're first gonna set our Wim Pro to Bluetooth mode by holding down the plus and minus buttons here on the front. You're then gonna see this green light flashing, letting us know that it's looking for a Bluetooth device to connect to. So then we can take a device like our tablet here and go into the Bluetooth settings. Then we're gonna look for our device here and because we named it Media Room earlier, that's the exact name that we're gonna look for in the Bluetooth settings. So right here, we have Media Room at the bottom. Then we're gonna click on it to pair. And now we have our Bluetooth device connected to the Wim Pro. So now we have some music playing through our tablet here. And what's really cool is that it's still set up to our different rooms. So we can control the volume for each room. Lower it in the media room. Turn it up in the bedroom. Or rate the, lower it a little bit in both. Very cool. And with the app downloaded on our phone and connected to both of these devices, we have the option to take over and play any music from any app. So I can go to Spotify and press play. And then that's gonna override the Bluetooth device I have connected. So this is awesome because we have a lot of different options on playing music through our Wim Pro. We can connect our Bluetooth device or just go to the app and go to our music services and play it from there. And no matter what source we're playing from, we have control over multiple different rooms at the same time if we have multiple Wim products throughout our home, which is a really cool setup. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Wim Pro. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry, and we'll see you guys next time.